Well, hello everyone. Now, a while ago, I did a video. I showed how you could use a refrigeration system with a VFD and a temperature controller, and I said that I would show it running in an air conditioner or a heat pump for a whole house because I just showed it running a chiller. But I got a comment from a man, I'll call Mr. H, don't want to mispronounce your name. He asks if I can show how to connect a temperature controller, variable frequency drive, and a programmable logic control. Well today, I want to show you at least two of those things. Even though I haven't got the project finished yet, I have made a sort of a simulation mock setup. So check that out and hopefully answer your questions. Okay, so simulation setup has a few different parts, but we'll start with the actual drive enclosure. And I'll explain a few parts of that, about that first. So, in an air conditioning system or heat pump system, we will be using these drives with the outdoor unit. So, for simulation purposes, we'll say that this will be the drive for the compressor, and this will be the drive for the condenser fan. Now, to integrate that with a temperature controller is actually quite simple. There's really only three wires to the temperature controller itself. This red wire here, the black wire, and the white wire. So, I'll do a little explaining on that. The red wire is 24 volts positive, and the black wire is the common wire, and the white wire is the 0 to 10 volts or 0 to 20 milliamps input. So every variable frequency drive is industry standard with a temperature control which is also industry standard. That means the variable frequency drive can output 24 volts to supply a programmable logic controller or a temperature controller and it has a 24 volt built-in power supply to do that and it also will accept a 0 to 10 volt signal to control the output frequency and it can also accept a 0 to 20 milliamp input to control the output frequency and some variable frequency drives may even use that same input to control torque but with these two drives here this one and this one we will just be strictly controlling speed and we may use a current limit but the other component here major component in the drive enclosure is the contactor here and that one will be activated by the thermostat and we'll explain that more a little bit later we'll have other major part input rectifier which will take 240 volts AC converts to DC goes through the circuit breaker and then it goes to the DC bus of this drive and DC bus of that drive so now let's take a look at the temperature controller end so this is the outside one half the outside of the simulation setup. These will simulate the condenser fans, the temperature controller for the condenser fan, and the temperature sensor for the liquid line. And this is the temperature controller itself. And on the outside, scale here, which will go from about 60 Celsius down to 40 below Celsius. And it will set, accept the 24 volt PLC power from the variable frequency drive. So we take a look inside. This is 24 volts input. This is a common. There's a voltage output with the white wire that can also be used here. The current output. This connects to the sensor and then the other lead from the sensor returns to the common. And inside the temperature controller also, there is a sensitivity range and a minimum output. And that's really all there is to it. Okay, and on the VFD itself, there are primarily three terminals that we'll deal with when we hook the temperature controller to it. And that would be PLC. CM and number 12. Now I can't be specific about every drive because they all have different labelings although they do all still have the 24 volt 
output power supply and the 0 to 10 volt input for the temperature controller or whatever other device. So, terminal here on this drive, PLC, is a 24 volt power supply and that will hook to the 24 volt input on the temperature controller. Now, terminal CM is the common for that 24 volt power supply but terminal 11 is a common for the 0 to 10 volt input. So what I do, I have a jumper from there to there. So that way the temperature controller will then be in common with the input. And the actual 0 to 10 volt input then is at terminal 12. So, then whenever the temperature controller commands the variable frequency drive to speed up or slow down, it will do so by being in common with the power supply that it's receiving from the VFD and it will send the signal to number 12 and then uh, you as a user then would have to set the parameters to set the drive to be controlled from that 0 to 10 volt input and like I say I can't be specific about every drive they each have their own programming that varies accordingly two other terminals that you might be concerned with would be CM and FWD common and forward and what that allows us to do is use a thermostat with a contactor so if the thermostat makes a call for cooling or heating and it will close that and that short those out together and it will tell the VFD to start and then it will be controlled by whatever the temperature controller is commanding. Okay, so a thermostat or a PLC would interface with the drive, like we said, through the forward and common terminal or through a start and common terminal and it varies from drive to drive, but I will show you in a practical sense how to use a standard building thermostat or a house thermostat with the VFD. So this is the thermostat here and the transformer that typically comes with a thermostat or a thermostat rather typically switches a transformer uh, that outputs 24 volts. A thermostat typically switches that on and off to operate a contactor or relay and it typically does that for a refrigeration system, heat pump or air conditioner. It typically operates a contactor for the compressor and a condenser fan. But of course, we're using the variable frequency drive now. So, I'll show you quickly inside the thermostat how the wiring is set up. The 24 volt transformer output don't know if you can see that, will come through RC, that's power supply for cooling, R cooling, and will come to C as a common. And the output of the thermostat then would be the common terminal there and the Y. So whenever the thermostat is set to call for cooling, it will connect the RC, the cooling power supply transformer to the Y and it will cause a contactor to engage. And of course it would normally make the relay or contactor engage to start the compressor or condenser fan by connecting it directly online but in this setup we will use it to start the variable frequency drives. Now the other set side of this setup here we have a nice big blower motor, it's three phase 240 volts, it is one and a half horsepower and it also has its own temperature controller and temperature sensor and as I say to simulate the compressor and that temperature sensor would normally then be sensing the temperature of the suction line of the compressor so it would thereby control the evaporator's temperature if the evaporator's temperature were to rise away from the set point it would speed up the compressor and if it were to fall from the set point it would then slow down the compressor. Okay, so I've commanded a temperature which is slightly lower than the current temperature 
for the temperature controller which controls our simulation condenser fans. And what I shall now do is make a call for cooling with the thermostat. We should see the operation. This is what it's like when it's just about barely satisfied. The minimum output is about 8 hertz and it's running it about from 12, 13 down to 11. It should go. And it'll vary up and down as the temperature controller adjusts its output. Now, at the temperature controller, if we command a higher temperature, then the fans go down to their minimum. And if we command a lower temperature, they will speed up. Now, I want to do a little experiment, real quick. If I grab the temperature sensor, the fans, will they respond and speed up? It's set to 24 Celsius. Let's see if I can make it warmer than that with just my hand. Looks like it's working. Now if I set it by the fan, will it cool it down? Now real quick, before I go, like I say, I am still working on the project to have the VFD running a whole house air conditioning system. This is a compressor that I got. I need a condenser for it. This is the three-phase compressor. I actually have had this thing running from that little motor controller just to test it. Nothing major. Didn't turn it up real fast. three phase. It's got a crankcase heater in it too. Pretty nice. And it says that it's remanufactured on it. And it looks to me as if it's never even really been used after it was remanufactured. So 
when I get a condenser for this guys you're gonna see this running so hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something if you have any questions feel free to comment or message and ask me and I will try to explain as best as I can thanks for watching I'll see you soon